The threat comes after revelations of corruption in the media and subsequent arrest of a number of persons, including the chairperson of the board of directors of Fishco, James Atwikulipi, and its CEO Mike Nipunya on allegations of corruption. Hatui Kulipi and Ngipunya are in custody together with the former ministers of fishery and that of justice Bernard Esau and Saki Shangala respectively, and six others implicated in the multi-million dollars fishing quota corruption scandal. Fisherman says it is prudent for the acting minister of fisheries and marine resources and that of public enterprises to urgently take action against any other persons that may have been party in the corruption, particularly the directors serving on the board of Fishco and its subsidiaries. The NBC News is in possession of a letter of demand addressed to the two ministers by Norman Chombe, the lawyer representing the employees. The complainants are employees of the Fishco and its subsidiary, Seaflower Lobster Corporation Limited, and a joint venture in which Fishco has substantial interest, namely Seaflower White Fish Corporation Limited. Shombe says, with the revelation of fraud and corruption on a grand scale, it is obvious that the financial position of the Fishco and its subsidiaries were misrepresented to the Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources and to the National Assembly. He thus charges that there was a serious lapses of duties and functions of the directors and of the management of Fishco and its subsidiaries towards the company and its shareholders as it failed to detect the misrepresentations in the regular financial statements and management accounts. The letter further states the financial position of Fishco was risky to the extent that the employees would not have been paid in January despite the reported earning increasing by 21% from $390 million in 2017 to $477 million in 2018 as reported in the Fishco Group's financial statement for the year ending 31st September 2018. Workers are now demanding for the immediate removal of the current directors and institution of legal action against the persons and entities that may have misappropriated monies. Shombe has now given until the 13th of March to act on the workers' demands before taking to court. Between 500 and 700 workers lost their jobs when Namsov fishing at Valfish Bay closed last year and part of its quota allegedly given to Fishco and Icelandic company Samari. Daniel Nadung, NBC News, Vanthook.